What's up guys, it's Exterminator here, welcome back to the channel. Okay, um, so we got way farther Bards, World Way farther Bards is uh, together with White Mage Creely. Coming to global, Final Fantasy V. So from Final Fantasy VII we're going to Final Fantasy V. And we also got a new Vision Awakenable Dark Mage Extra. No, he looks amazing with the tree and all and everything. <laughs> And I have a lot of copies of him, so he might be X2, I think. Okay, let's move on to the update. So the step up is limited to one per player. Uh, no special vision card, but you do can get some uh, nice materials again. Nice killer abilities and stuff like that. So make sure if you do want to do this uh, and you are a big fan of Bart's Ocreal, uh, go for it. Uh, for myself, I'm gonna skip because I got really lucky on the Chinese banner and those are limited. And these guys are not limited whatsoever. It says limited to one per player, but those are not limited. They, they just don't. Okay. So, uh, World Way Farther Bards uh, with Krill. Envy Premium Step Up limited to seven per player. Might. I don't know. I still have to clear the story. I just got 5,000 lapis again. Um, I'm saving actually. I'm, I'm really gonna save. And uh, don't forget to do the daily fragment dungeon. And also, I just got a uh, new vision Sonon just to X3. And he is amazing. So make sure to get him to X3. He can at least reach 9000 or 9500 attack minimum. So he is really good and he's free to play. So <laughs> definitely. Grind that event out. All right, back to topic. So, World Wayfarer Bards. He is a new vision, and he looks actually amazing with the cape and all. And his brave shift is Mystic Knight Bards, and that's the one from the game also. His vision card is obtained at X1 and X3, so he's no premium. That's 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 lucky. <laughs> So, if you guys are lucky to pull him, don't worry about his X Awakening. You can mostly get him to X1 by the end of the celebration, so... Or even sooner. Just depends on the luck, you know? Um, for myself, I am not gonna summon. Okay, so we got the Super Trustmaster, uh, Mystic Knight's Turban, Final Fantasy V. Attack plus 80, Defense plus 21, Spirit plus 30. Activate support of the Water Crystal Bards, World Way Far Bards only. And Mystic Knight's Knowledge, boost attack by 1500, boost physical and magic damage against humans and plants by 50. 1500, huh? Damn! Okay, so his Thrustmaster, Bards Clothing, attack plus 65, defense plus 15, spirit plus 22. Activate Way Far's Garb and memories of his father. Boost physical magic damage against plants by 50 and fill LP cost by 200 every turn. His Warring Spirit is his X ability, Crushing Blade, damage reduced fire, lightning, wind, light resistance for one enemy, and Termination Blade, damage one enemy, is his grandest ability. Moving on to White Mage's Krill. Okay, see, so he has a very nice Berserker Krill Brave Shift. That looks amazing, actually. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um, his her brave shift duration is unlimited turns, zero turn cooldown available from turn one, vow of destruction level one. I mean level ten, HP plus eight hundred, defense and spell plus eighty. Decent, decent fishing card, I guess. Available at X two, X abilities locked. Um, her super trust master, berserker costume, attack plus eighty. Attack plus 80, okay. Uh, defense plus 43, spear plus 16. Activate support of the Water Crystal Creel, White Mage Creel only, and Beast like Fighting Spear, boost attack by 2000. Now that's more like it. This is a really good super trust if you got Yuffie, by the way. Uh, boost attack by 2000 plus physical magic damage against humans and plants. Okay, so we're probably gonna get a plant. Boss soon, I guess. 
Her super trust master white mage rope, final fantasy 5, the defense plus 14, magic plus 40, spare plus 65, activate assistance of the wind crystal and heart filled with tenderness. Reduce MP consumed abilities by 10% and fill all B cost by 200 every turn. Her X ability elemental power wind, uh, one use every 10 turns add wind element. Two physical attack boost wind damage of LB ability magic for one ally. Oh, only one ally. Okay. Boost wind damage of LB ability and magic for one ally for the next two turns. Her featured ability restore HP and MP and fill LB cost for all allies. That's that's good. It's it, it can all all go to level five. So shining healing. We, we're getting a healer, guys. We're finally getting a healer. So if you do need a new vision healer, definitely get Creel. Um, Crazed rampage to deal earth damage, reduce earth resistance for one enemy. Also earth again. So not interested whatsoever. Dark mage axe that lo looks amazing, by the way. So let's hope he gets something good as well. His super limit burst go forth and destroy everything, reduce resistance to swords and earth resistance and deal earth magic damage to all enemies. All enemies, that's better. Super limit burst cooldown available from turn 5. The super limit burst cooldown is reduced by one turn for each axe awakening. So his super trust master was matched by 6... 60? Okay. Boost magic damage against humans, insects, and plants. Why not 160? That's that's better, you know? <laughs> Why 60? Uh, I guess the killer is more appropriate. Um, Trust Master, defense plus 6, magic plus 52. Boost dark resistance by 30 and activate the power of darkness. Boost magic by 10. Although, so his magic will be 62. Plus defense plus six. Why defense plus six? By the way, that's doesn't make sense. Okay, X ability magic plus five hundred, and he also deals light, wicked light, dark mage, X dead. Deal partial unmedicated light magic damage to all enemies, and boost mag. Whoa, boost magic by two thousand. Now that's ooh, definitely gonna upgrade that. Okay, this one's this one's gonna be a douchey. This one's gonna be maybe just as good as. Uh, he might be even better as Golbus, as I can see it is. We also got a new event, Event Dungeon, the Force of Slumbering Crystals. Uh, and of course, you can get some stuff. So it's the Flame Tongue, Final Fantasy V, Two-Handed Fire Elemental Weapon. And also the Partisan, Final Fantasy V, High Jump Boost Damage and Jump Attacks by 100%. Ooh, 100%, nice. Okay, we're getting Jump Killers back, guys. Okay, so the bonus is, of course, World Fave Far of Boss, White Mage Creel. And Dark Mage X Dead and select Final Fantasy V units. So, also 5% bonus for uh, Lunar Festival Cleo, Materia Hunter, Johnny, Sonon, and select Final Fantasy V units 3 star to 6 star. So, also, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe button. And also, the new vision cards are also the cusp of a new journey. Level 10, attack plus 130. Okay, 130, that's, that's good, that's good. Boost attack by 50, boost LB damage by 25, and boost attack by 500 from the four hearts. Okay. A vow of destruction. This one's for x by the way. Um, restore MP by 10% every turn. HP plus 800. Defense of spear plus 80. Reduce MP consume ability by 10%. And boost fire, water, wind, and earth resistance by 20%. Requirement only for Fantasy 5. And same on this card. New ability awakening and updates. Now this one, I got her so many times. She's finally X3 at my place. So um, let's hope she gets something good. So she gets an ability awakening update. Uh, Leviathan area effect. Oh, Leviathan area effect boost. Water, physical, and magic damage for 10 turns. Golem area of act boosts earth physical and magic damage for 10 turns. And Ramu area lightning physical and magic damage for 10 turns. Nice! Very nice. And her plus 3 awakening is Leviathan area of act for 40% for 10 turns. Okay, nice. 
And she also gets magic plus 500 on X3. Nice, because I do have her X3, really nice. And she also gets ability upgrades, Thunderstorm and Blade of Fervor. Very nice upgrades. Let's hope she gets some decent attack. So that's a short update, guys. But uh, it's it's official. Final Fantasy V is coming back. So um, I hope Final Fantasy VI comes after this, actually, because I think we need we need a new Terra, right? Comment down below if you guys if we if we need a new Terra, new Vision. She was very good with the limit ability and uh, special animations. Let me show you real quick. So, yeah, uh, Terra was really good. I actually got her almost to X3, only one copy needed, I think. And then I, no, I wait, I do have her to X3, so I hope Terra actually gets some abilities stuff also, so she can reach more magic power and magic potential because I do miss to use her, you know. But that's me. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey,